Our story today is called Drum Dream Girl by Margarita Engel. On an island of music in a city of drum beats, the drum dream girl dreamed of pounding tall conga drums, tapping small bongo drums, and boom, boom, booming with long, loud sticks on big, round, silvery, moon, bright timbales. But everyone on the island of music in the city of drum beats believed that only boys should play drums. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming quiet, secret drum beat dreams. At outdoor cafes that looked like gardens, she heard drums played by men, but when she closed her eyes, she could also hear her own imaginary music. When she walked under wind wavy palm trees in a flower bright park, she heard the whir of parrot wings, the clack of woodpecker beaks and dancing tap of her own footsteps and the comforting pat of her own heartbeat. At carnival, she listened to the ratting, rattling beat of towering dancers on stilts and the dragon clang of costume drummers wearing huge masks. At home, her fingertips rolled out their own dreamy drum rhythm on tables and chairs. And even though everyone kept reminding her that girls on the island of music had never played drums, the brave drum dream girl dared to play tall conga drums, small bongo drums, and big round silvery moon bright timbales. Her hands seemed to fly as they rippled, wrapped, and pounded all the rhythms of her drum dreams. Her big sisters were so excited that they invited her to join their all their new all girl dance band. But their father said only boys should play drums. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming and drumming alone. Until finally, her father offered to find a music teacher who could decide if her drums deserved to be heard. The drum dream girl's teacher was amazed. The girl knew so much, but he taught her more and more and more. And she practiced and she practiced and she practiced until the teacher agreed that she was ready to play her small bongo drums outdoors at a starlit cafe that looked like a garden where everyone who heard her dream bright music sang and danced and decided that girls should always be allowed to play drums and both girls and boys should feel free to dream. And that is the end of our story today. There is a note from the author here that says, this poem was inspired by the childhood of a Chinese African Cuban girl who broke Cuba's traditional taboo against female drummers. In 1932, at the age of 10, Milo Castro Zaldariaga performed with her older sisters as Ana Caona's Cuba's first all girl dance band. Milo became a world famous musician playing alongside all the American jazz greats of the era. At age 15, she played her bongo drums at a New York birthday party celebration for U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, where she was enthusiastically cheered by First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. And there are now many female drummers in Cuba. Thanks to Milo's courage, becoming a drummer is no longer an unattainable dream for girls on the island. Thank you for joining me today. Take care.